Friday, Friday, Friday. So mellow. So what is going mellow. on, everybody out there? Come on, y'all. Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what time it is. Everybody's alerts are going off. Bing, 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 bing. That's right. It's fun day Friday. Friday. We're Friday. doing Rosie it. Panconi. Hey, Rosie. Chris Jones, what's up, man? That's what I'm saying. Start hitting those, uh, switch it on over to Facebook and Instagram. Comes in wow faces. Yeah, yeah. Love them wow. Anthony Chavez, what's up, man? Jim Kinneman. Jim. Peter Furman. Peter, that's my boy. What's up, Peter? Diamond Dave says TGIF. Yes. Finally. Finally, they say. <laughs> They've been waiting all day, John. That's what I'm talking about. Well, boomer. I, I love that y'all been waiting all day. That's awesome because we have a great, great show today. Wings and tuna. Carolina Beach, North Carolina. Nicholas Dalton, what's up, man? Where are you guys watching from? Yeah, where are you guys watching from? Hit us up when you uh, when you go ahead and click on over. Let's know where you're from. We'd love to love to see where we are at in the map. Matt. Bluffton, South Carolina. Your skin's looking good too from Academy, Red yeah. Tech Academy. Yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. it's the Cajun in you. Yeah, you know, you're right. nice and brown. That's right. He's poor, poor, good. poor. Light skinned people. All right. How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> I am your world famous Rec Tech Academy instructor, Chef John. Um, we're gonna, here to do Fun Day Friday today. I know I'm not your normal Fun Day Friday host, but you know, the often imitated, never duplicated Jody is running around like a crazy person. We had him taking stuff down from the Rec Tech Academy, which I hope some of you that are tuning in right now got to join. We had a great time out there. It was four days of sun and fun and barbecue. Like, it was crazy. We had people from all over the place here. Alaska, Wisconsin, Texas. I mean, it was great. It was a great time. Um, so, Jody's cleaning up from all that, and as soon as he was done with that, uh, we're going to Memphis, everybody. Memphis in May. Rec Tech is gonna be there. Uh, look for Ray Carnes and Mr. Ben. Go ahead and uh, give them a big hug. They love hugs. Go ahead and give them a big hug if you see them. But Jody's getting the Rec Tech trailer all ready for that. So he's super, super busy. And then right after that, Jody's getting ready for Banjo BQ in Augusta at Lady Antebellum Theater slash Rec Tech Theater. Rec Tech um, Park. Rec Tech Park. So he's busy. Jody's busy. So he called me. He said, John, what do you got going on? I said, nothing. I'm too busy to help you out, Jody. What do you need? He said, I need you to come in. So here I am. Uh, but we got a great show. We have Brad Orison from The Shed. He's going to be tuning in later, I think, via uh, Instagram. And uh, we're going to be talking to him about The Shed, if you guys don't know. It's a restaurant. Um, we're also going to be talking about Memphis in May and sustainability, uh, which is something Brad is super into. We're, we all should be into sustainability. It helps everybody out. So we're super excited. So we're just going to jump right into this and get it started. What you cooking today? So today we're doing wings. Oh yeah, full wings, because that's the only way to do wings. And uh, we have some tuna here that was caught by Ray Carnes. This is Ray Carnes tuna right here, everybody. Check it out. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna grill this off. I, I'm gonna make a little uh, pineapple black bean salsa to go over the tuna and the wings. So we've had a lot of discussion about. Are some of our dry rubs. So today we're gonna do an Asian persuasion and Jody. Oh, oh, wait. Jody's Asian persuasion and the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. And we've come. We've had a couple name conflicts. I like to go with the Bloody Asian. That's that's my. That's what I like to call the rub when you combine the two. But we've also gone with the what was the name? Matt? Dirty persuasion. The Dirty Persuasion, which. You know, probably sounds a little more PC, PC. Not much more, but a little bit more. So anyhow, we're gonna start off with the chicken wings. So what we wanna do is, I've probably got about 24 wings in here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit of olive oil. And the only reason why I hit them with olive oil is to make sure that there is something that is going to stick to make the seasoning stick to. So we're gonna toss these real quick.
just a quick real general toss. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our seasoning. And when you're making wings, like I'm a more is better kind of guy. So I just take the lid straight off, you know, and just go ham on it. I like to make sure that everything's covered really well. So we're gonna go half with this. I would say that was about a fourth of a cup. We'll go another fourth of a cup, equal parts of the Jody Asian Persuasion. All right, sweet, healthy amount. All right, let me grab some gloves. What's up, Boomer? Boomer! Because sanitation is everything, people. I don't want to cross-contaminate anything, so we're going to get our gloves on. No salmonella here. All right, now we're going to give these things another toss. I have our grill. We're going to put these on the bullseye. And I have it set at 375. That's not enough seasoning for me. I have the grill set at 375. We're going to go for about 30, 45 minutes. Go one more round of the seasoning. Oh, yeah. So we could say a half cup and a half cup for 24 wings. That's a half cup of the Asian Persuasion, half cup of the Dirty Girl, Bloody Mary Rose. Y'all tried the Dirty Persuasion out there? Yeah. Have y'all tried it? And what are y'all's favorite, like when you're cooking wings, I know y'all are Rectech fans, and I know Rectech fans love to cook wings. So what are y'all's favorite rubs for the wings? Go ahead and let me know. All right, gonna give these one more toss and then we're gonna go ahead and throw them on the grill. I'm a huge, huge grilled chicken wing fan. I mean, I think the only thing that's better than grilled chicken wings has gotta be fried chicken. Like, come on. All right, these things are ready to go. Okay. So I got my grill set. It's about 400, I'm gonna turn it down just a touch. Also remember though, that when you're, when you're reading the temperature of that <clears throat> bullseye, that the thermometer is at the top of the grill. So that it's reading the air that's at the top of the grill, not necessarily what the rack is at. The rack's gonna always be a little hotter. All right, so here we go. Oh, yeah. and Chef Greg asked, what was your favorite Rec Tech Academy experience? Chef Greg, my favorite Rec Tech Academy experience was being up on stage with you. Are a wealth of information and I love it. I love hanging out with you. That was my best time. I think we really bonded Chef Greg at Rec Tech Academy, so that was probably one of my favorite parts. I like to go in a spiral when I'm putting the wings on here. I like to just roll them around like a tire. I wish y'all could smell how good this smells right now, and it's only been on there for like a minute. This smells delicious. Dirty Asian. Dirty Asian. <laughs> Forgot about that one. The Dirty Asian. Lane's Barbecue is, uh, we love them. We love their rubs. Those guys are the bomb. All right, we got them all on. We're going to go ahead and shut this thing up. And like I said, we're about 375 for about 45 minutes. It's gonna give you that good crisp on there. Sweet. So, did anybody tell us what they, their favorite rubs were, Matt? Uh, Dirty Asian, there's a meat church rub meat, somebody likes. Meat church rub, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And Gregory Bidwell loves some Dirty Asian. <laughs> we know you do, Gregory. <laughs> we know you do. Uh, so, Rec Tech Academy was super special to me. I, you know, am new to the whole social media uh, game, and I have fans, which was, I'm, I love it. I love it. Thank you guys. I'm so happy that I have people who appreciate what I do. Um, but I want to give a special shout out. I got my first fan letter, you guys. They probably don't want me to put their address on there, so I'm just going to say their name. They're uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mike West from Florida. I have your letter right here. Just want to let you guys see it. I'll cover your names up. Thank you guys so much. Y'all, I really appreciate it. Um, Mike's wife uh, had an, an allergy to garlic and onions, so I was I was able to cook her a special meal because 
she was in the middle of a you know barbecue event pretty much everything has garlic and onions in it so I was so happy to do it thank you guys for coming uh, thank you for the fan letter this is gonna go in my house I'm gonna frame it I'm putting it up on the wall thank you guys very much uh, Matt do you want to move right into tuna yeah let's do it all right sweet so we got Ray's tuna which I've been told that he caught himself. Do we know where Ray caught this tuna at? Uh, Venice, Louisiana, I think. Venice, Louisiana. Or Costa Rica, I'm not sure. Or, or Costa Rica, because Ray gets around, you know? Ray gets around. Um, well, oh, if you like this stuff, you find it entertaining, please like, share, and comment on these videos. Share, actually share it right now. Let's all share it right now. Where's my phone at? Okay, thank you so much. Here we go. Everybody, let's take a minute before we start the tuna and let's share this. I like your beautiful rose gold case there, buddy. You do? You know, I like to stand out in the crowd. Thank you so much. All right, back to the food. So, we've got some tuna. So, Ray caught this tuna fresh. I'm assuming they dressed it on the boat. Uh, and then when it got back to us, we went ahead and put some of it away in the freezer. I pulled it out, let it thaw out overnight, uh, just in the refrigerator. Um, so that's why the color is a little off because it is frozen tuna, but it's still gonna be delicious. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this first with a little bit of oil so that the seasoning sticks, right? That's our thing. Yes. All right, now I have the Jody's Asian Persuasion Rub. I'm gonna go ahead and loosely season these. Looks delicious. Remember, you gotta season both sides of everything, unless the stuff that you get only comes, already one side already comes seasoned, which you know, my stuff doesn't. So both sides. All right, sweet. Now we're gonna put this to the side and just let this chill out. Congratulations, Christine. Just got a bull in the matador. Yeah, Christine. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to love that matador, Christine. Let me tell you, the things that you can do in that matador, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anything from frying to like, I did try to make crepes in there the other day, Christine. I'm going to let you know. I didn't get something there. But it's a work in progress. I, I am determined to make crepes in the matador. And as soon as I figure it out, I'm posting it everywhere. I promise you guys. All right, so let's start on this uh, black bean and pineapple salsa. So I uh, just got a can of black beans from your local grocery store. I uh, went ahead and drained all the liquid out of them because uh, it just tends to make the salsa real dark when you do that. Uh, this is two cans of black beans. We're gonna put them in a bowl. Then I got, these were Roma tomatoes. All right, so when you're making this, when you cut your tomatoes, you just want the outside of the tomato, right? You don't want the core because the core is going to get real mushy. It's going to make your um, salsa go bad before it needs to. So really all we're using the tomato for is a little bit of color and a little bit of acid. So this was three Roman tomatoes. I diced real, real small. Go ahead and put those in there. Then I had a can of crushed pineapple. Uh, I went ahead and drained off some of the juice. You're not gonna be able to get all the juice off of it and you want some of it so it's sweet. Uh, but this is one can, eight ounce can. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I have uh, one jalapeno and about a quarter cup of parsley here. Go ahead and dump that. Now, would you cook shark steak the same as tuna? Yes, you can. And, and, and really, like, if tuna's gonna cook probably a little faster than shark steak is, but it's the same principle. The same principle, just less time. Um, and these pieces of tuna are nice and thick. So the thicker your fish, you know, and the type of fish it is depends on how long you're necessarily going to cook it. And the more you cook fish, the more you'll get used to the time and temperature and all that. All right, so we're just going to mix this up. The other thing to know about the seasonings that we have, all our rubs, they're like a full service rub. Like, so you don't need to add salt or pepper or any of that other stuff because it's already in here. So we're gonna put a little Asian persuasion rub on top. And we know that Jody likes the wow face, Chef John, but do you have a preferred emoji? Oh, you know, I'm, an, I'm an, a wow face. I like that O face. So yeah, give them to me all day long. Wow it up, y'all, wow it up. All right. 
and that's our salsa right there. It's pretty much done. We're moving through it today, people. Like, we're not playing around, you know? Chevy's not here. We're hitting the fast button. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these on the Trailblazer. I've got it set at 375. John, they're all super stoked about this salsa. Yeah, it's delicious. It is super, super easy, you guys. Super easy. Oh, is that 500? Yeah. Oh, my bad. The Trailblazer is set at 500. Oh, that's right. We have the searing kit on. I'm going to go ahead and just toss a little bit more oil on top of these so they don't stick. All right. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That looks great. That's the RT300 with the sear kit on top? That's, that's the 680 sear kit. Huh? 680 sear kit. Turn sideways. All right. Ray, this is some delicious looking tuna. It is thick up like a hiccup. We'd like to thank the tuna that gave its life to provide this delicious meal. And that's it. We're going to get it on the sear kit. It's going to go about six minutes aside, and then we're going to turn it another six minutes, and we're going to be done. Uh, and when we come back, we will maybe be going live with Brad, talking about the shed, talking about Memphis in May and sustainability. That will be on Instagram. That will be on Instagram. Uh, Not Facebook. So all you... Facebook watchers, you want to you make over. your way over to Instagram here when you get the uh, notification. Please do, please do. When we get back, we'll pull those wings off, we'll see the, uh, flip that tuna, and we'll start getting everything plated up. So make sure you guys come back. Friday, Friday, come and stuff up on Friday, 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 to the stuff up on Friday, Friday. See you in a little bit. Friday, Friday, by the pull of sand, tuna Friday, raise tuna Friday. Friday. Pulling stuff off the grill on Friday, Friday. How's everybody doing? Are y'all hungry? I'm hungry. You hungry? Matt, you hungry? I'm hungry. Matt, you hungry? Yes. Yes? Rach? <laughs> All right. So, recap real quick. We had uh, yeah. we had some nice pieces of tuna that Ray caught somewhere in the Gulf, we're thinking. Um, they brought, they cleaned them. He caught them a while ago. I, I don't know. A couple months, let's say. Uh, they cleaned them on the boat, skinned the fish, cut it apart. They brought it back. We had it in the freezer. I pulled it out last night, let it thaw in the refrigerator. Uh, we pulled it out. We uh, hit the fish with uh, Jody's Asian Persuasion Rub uh, and a little bit of olive oil. We went ahead and uh, made some black bean and pineapple salsa. Uh, it has jalapeno, tomato, uh, pineapple, black bean, uh, cilantro, and I said jalapeno already. Yes. Uh, it has all that stuff in it. We mixed that together with a little Asian Persuasion and we're about to pull the tuna off the grill, which we cooked on the Trailblazer at 500 degrees for four minutes a side. We're pulling it off now. Chef Greg, checking in. Chef Greg. See how that sear kit put a nice, nice sear on it. This is the sear kit from the, what is it, the 680? 700. 700, this is the sear kit from the 700. When you turn it sideways, it fits perfect on the Trailblazer. Yeah, I like breaking rules. You know what I'm saying? You can't contain me. You can try, but you will not be successful. All right, here we go. So we got the tuna. Looks great. Looks great. Olivia Chalmers watching. Hey, Olivia. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this stuff up. Trusty gloves Look on. Look at that sear. Crust. So nice, right? Go ahead and take three best pieces to plate.
those two looks great. All right, now I just want to take that salsa. I have a perforated spoon that I'm using so that liquid kind of drips out so it doesn't go all over the plate. I got a large spoon. I just want to set that right over the top. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, and this salsa works great on any kind of fish that you're gonna put on the grill. You know, you could do tilapia with it. I wouldn't necessarily put tilapia on the grill, but you could do, this would go good with salmon. It would go good with like black and grouper. It would go good with uh, shark steaks, um, all kinds of fish, you know? Anything that you'd feel comfortable putting on the grill and letting grill up, you could use this salsa for. Looks delicious, right? I'm gonna try a piece of this. Oh yeah, come on. I wish y'all could be here to share with me. I totally would. Oh, uh, so god dang good. Mm. All right. We're moving on though. We still got more food to do. I'm gonna go ahead and check these chicken wings. We're about at the. We're about at the halfway point, I would say. So we're gonna go ahead and give these things a flip. Oh man, tell me that does not look awesome. If you're not hungry, I know you are now, because that is bomb. And once again, so a little recap. We had these wings, they're full wings, you see. We went ahead and just put a little olive oil on top of them. And then we did the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub and Jody's Asian Persuasion. We mixed them together to get the, what is it, Matt? Dirty Persuasion. Dirty Persuasion rub, which truly right now is probably like for wings, is my favorite rub, like mixing these two together. Anybody out there mix their rubs? And if you do, what rubs do you mix? That's what I wanna know. Maybe y'all teach me something new. Maybe I'll come up with a new rub and you're like, oh, I heard this was the best rub and they were right. It is what about this, that Savannah River rub? I do like that Savannah River rub. I do like it. Do you combine it with anything? Or do you just go straight up Savannah River rub? So these wings, see how they're not sticking either? It's that olive oil that we put over the top of them. Helps, helps to create a little barrier so that they are less likely to stick. Still a little sticking, but not Pepper that Pepper dust in front row master plane. Oh, right. snap. Oh, snap. I may have just learned something. I like it. I like it. I'm going to try that next. Whoever that was, thank you very much for the test. Scott Lambert. Thank you, Scott. I'm going to try that. I'll let you know. And yes, Daryl Deal, the Savannah River was only available at the Academy. Yes, only at the Academy. But, not to fret, I, I hear that there are an Academy 2 in the works. Mm -hmm. I, I heard on the DL there's an Academy 2 in the works, and it's going to be big real big so keep up on the website keep up with the newsletters we we'll definitely will be posting stuff about that please let's all share right now anybody that you think would like to see any of this stuff or know any of these recipes let's go ahead and just share this video it's right down there click it okay we're sharing it's so easy so fun bringing joy to everybody's life cool new Come phone on. case oh thank you hey it happens like that you know i got multiple phones you know uh, so we're waiting on the wings to finish. We probably got about 15 more minutes on the wings. Uh, Matt, is there any word from Brad Orison yet? No, nope. not yet. We'll be hearing from but him in a little bit. We will be hearing from him in a little bit on Instagram. So all you Facebook followers, make sure that you switch on over to Instagram when that uh, when Brad tunes in because it's going to be awesome. He's a great guy, a huge personality. You know, I've never had the per, uh, personal opportunity to meet him yet. I've just seen his stuff on uh, social media, and he's great, guys. Y'all are really going to love this guy. Um, so please switch back over when uh, he comes on. We'll be talking about his restaurant, which is more than a restaurant. It's like, you know, I'll have him explain it. But it's called The Shed. Uh, we're going to be talking about Memphis in May. Uh, Ray Carnes and Mr. Ben will be up there, uh, and we'll be talking about sustainability, just in general sustainability, which is something we all need to get involved with helps everybody so we'll be back in a few set your alerts so you know when we come right back friday friday cooking stuff up on friday 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 
gets enough flame on my food. I don't, I just, I get pellets and I don't know. Look at all this flame. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Oh, they're like every 30 seconds. Hey. So we're back people. How's everybody doing? So good to see y'all. So just a quick recap. We cooked these dirty Asian persuasion wings. It's a mixture of our Dirty Girl dry rub and our a Jody's Asian persuasion rub. We went ahead and mixed those together with a little bit of olive oil, tossed our wings in it, set our bullseye to 375 for about 45 minutes. Got a great sear on these things, as you can see. I mean, they look <coughs> delicious. Oh um, yeah. And uh, so 45 minutes, cook those. We just pulled them off. Uh, so we're gonna let these things cool down. They look great, right? They look great. Uh, Ray Carnes actually is in the building. He has a business meeting. And uh, he asked me to go ahead and cook up these ribeyes. So um, the awesome Olivia went and purchased these. And we have them getting to room temperature. I'm about to season them up. And then we're gonna throw them on the bowl at uh, 375 or what? No, we, we're all the, way, all the way up on the bull. I just wanted to give a quick shout out um, to some of our sponsors for Brad Orison and The Shed for uh, Memphis and May, uh, Flame Boss, Vision, Chubacabra, HCS, Rectech, Comparts, Kingsford, Yeti, Abita, Viquinox, Old Hickory, St. Clair, Atlas 46 Aprons, Thermoworks, and Dry Duck. We just want to thank you guys very much for co-sponsoring this event with us. We're super happy to be working with Brad um, and can't wait for this Memphis and May stuff to kick off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on and we're gonna go ahead and season up these ribeyes. Hey, what's going on? Olivia did a great job of picking these ribeyes out. It's got nice marbling in it. They're nice and thick. Delicious, delicious. So when you have ribeyes and you don't want to mess around, you don't want to like take chances on the seasoning or you know what what to season it with, you can always go with Ben's pepper dust. This is like tried, true, and tested. It's gonna be delicious. Why is marbling important? Marbling is important because it sends uh, uh, flavor comes from fat. So a really lean piece of meat like uh, venison or something isn't gonna have a lot of flavor to it because it doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So marbling, it tells you, like it indicates the type, the fat striations in between the meat. So not like these big chunks, but all this white that's through here, this is all the marbling. This is where all the flavor is gonna come from in your steak. That's a good question though, thank you. All right, so you know me, I like to take the top off. We're just gonna go general, Good dusting over these thick, like one inch cut ribeyes. Looks delicious. All right. Flip it. We're going to season this. So what guys do you, what uh, guys, sorry guys, what do you guys like to use on y'all's ribeyes? What kind of seasonings? Are y'all Worcestershire people? Are y'all just straight up salt and pepper people? Do you like to rub a little roasted garlic on it? What somebody, do you guys like? Somebody said the espresso rub lightly. The espresso rub is good lightly, it really is. But if, you, if you're not one of those people who like to venture out, you know, espresso rub may be a little much for you. I like it. But I like everything. All right. 
I've got the bullseye turned up from the wing, so we're gonna go ahead and drop, because I don't think all these steaks are gonna fit on there. We're gonna go ahead and drop some of these on there. so hungry. I hope y'all are like, John, I need you to come to my office building right now with those ribeyes. <laughs> I'm eating a cold turkey sandwich for lunch and I don't like it. I don't blame you. Look at that. They all fit on there. The size of these grills is just amazing what you can do with them. It really is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let that cook. I would love to get a taste tester. Does somebody want to come try these wings real quick, Matt? And tell me what they think. Come on, Becky. Becky. Yeah, come on, Becky. Yeah. Come on, Becky. Jody's, Jody's away and his wife's here. Yay, everybody. This is Becky, Jody's Hi. wife. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give her a quick hey. round of applause. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't like you. Oh, you're doing great. Okay, so okay. I'll pick. So we're trying wings. Yes, right? we're trying. They're kind of warm still. Okay, I'll do. John, what are, what are these good. things called? Oh, these are Dirty hot. Asians? Is that what we're calling these wings? <laughs> dirty it's persuasion. Because it's, it's the, it's it's the dirty Asian persuasion. Yeah, Jody's Asian persuasion. Right. And Dirty Girl. Yeah, Jody's Asian persuasion. Great. And Dirty Girl. Oh, okay, actually. So, Dirty Asian trying these dirty right. Asian wings. So good, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So delicious. Ooh, these are hot. They're these little, are delicious. They're a little hot. I got chef hands though, so I don't, yeah. you know, I don't feel it. I know. But they're awesome. So good. Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are delicious though. So Asian persuasion and dirty girl rub. Yeah, it's okay. a perfect combination, right? Mm -hmm. Dirty Asian. We love it. We love it. Well, this is my favorite part. Yeah. It's and that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to cook full wings instead of just like you know, some people do the half wings. So, so what's it. your favorite part? The flat or the, the banana? The tip. Uh, no, it's steak. Just kidding. Just the tip. Now yeah. What's your favorite part? Drum or the flat? Yeah. What's your favorite part of the wing? Let us know. Right, for sure. Cool. Well, thank you for Becky, having me. Thank you for hey, thank you for trying the wings. And when we come back, we're gonna flip those uh, steaks over. We're gonna pull them all, slice them up, and we're gonna feed them to Ray and his people. So. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Oh, we also have Brad Orson coming from the shed later. Uh, he'll be on Instagram, so make sure you guys pop back over. All you Facebook people, pop back over to Instagram. Take a second right now, stop, and share us. Come on. It's one hit of the button right down there in the corner. Hit easy. that share button. Easy. Super easy. Hit that share button. Get us out to all your friends and family. Um, but like I said, we'll be coming back with Brad Orson at some point on Instagram. We'll be talking about his restaurant, The Shed. We'll be talking about Memphis in May, which is going to be huge, you guys. Rec Tech's going to be there. And we'll be talking about general sustainability. So make sure you uh, set your notifications and come back and join us. All right. Friday, it's Friday. 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 Make us up on Friday. 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 Cook a chicken up on Friday. Friday. Make us up on Friday. 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 All right. Quick recap real fast. Just pull these steaks off, season them with Ben's heifer dust. Just took them about eight minutes aside, six minutes aside, and this is where we're at. We're gonna go slice them up for Ray. His business meat. Y'all come on. Friday, 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 gonna serve steaks on Friday. Y'all see how smoky it is here? This, yeah, that was just pretty much from the steaks, y'all. All from the steaks. Uh, not from our packaging crew guys sitting out here just smoking. These guys are working hard. Yeah, they are. Don't let this smoke fool you. I'll wait. Let's give a shout out to our guys. Here they are. Yeah. Say yes. hey to the crew. Yes. yes. <laughs> Darren George's cart. Darren George's cart, everybody. What's up? Darren George's cart. The tank. We're uh, live on Facebook and Instagram. What's up, fellas? Facebook Live, say hey, everybody. What's going on? Having an important uh, Rake Take Nation right here. Crucial meeting here. <laughs> 
just serving up some steak. Yeah. Some nice steak. Ooh. Boom. I got a couple there, a little bit more done. I didn't know how you guys take your steak. Well, you take it just like that. Right. <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, ribeyes. They were like inch thick cut. Uh, Ben's heifer dust, a little bit of olive oil. I season them up real good. And then I put them on the bullseye at like 475, 500. And uh, for like four minutes, five minutes aside, got a good sear on them. What do you think, mm. Mr. Carlos? Nice work, buddy. That's what we get. We cooked up that uh, swordfish, I mean that tuna that you caught today too. Where'd you catch that tuna at? Um, in Venice, Louisiana. Venice, Louisiana? That's right. All right. With uh, Super Striker Chargers. They're on Facebook if you want to like their page. They're amazing. Nice. But it was yellow fin tuna. Yeah, it was delicious too. It came out really nice. I did a black bean and uh, jalapeno uh, <laughs> salsa. <laughs> With a little pineapple in it, it was delicious. <laughs> Can I fix anybody else a plate? Yeah, I was up to <laughs> Oh, my goodness. What? Point you two headed in there? Chris is having cut some of these steaks. He's got a cast on his hand. <laughs> That's good. Don't cut those rest, okay. the rest up. We have fun. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. No problem at all. We'll see you guys see later. See y'all. See y'all. Bye, y'all. So, guys, it's been a great, great fun day Friday with y'all. I hope y'all had as much fun with me as I've had with you guys. Uh, just a quick recap of what we went over today. We did a tuna that we seared uh, with a pineapple, black bean, jalapeno salsa. It came out delicious. Um, we also did chicken wings that are being devoured right now. They're right here. With the bloody persuasion. Seven different names. Yeah, or the dirty Asian, dirty if you Asian. like. Asian girl. Asian, Asian, Asian girl, or the wow. Asian girl rub. Y'all wow. let us know what y'all think y'all's best at anything. You know, if you think of a great name for the Jody per, uh, Asian persuasion rub or the dirty girl uh, dry rub. Jody girl. Please, <laughs> please come up with a name. Hit us up on social media. We're looking for a new name for these two, the combination of these two. Um, we also want to make sure you guys remember to check uh, check back with us on Instagram. Uh, Brad will be coming on a little bit later. Uh, he's going to be talking about Memphis in May. He's going to be talking about his restaurant, The Shed, and he's going to be talking about sustainability. Which is something that if you don't know about sustainability, you need to look into. You know, it's all about you know making our carbon footprint a little bit less and using things that are naturally here and that are sustainable to our like wood pellets, like like wood pellets, like wood pellets you know. Oh yeah. Um, then we, we also grill up some steaks for Ray that y'all just saw a slice up. It's, it was a great fun day. Thank you guys for being here with me. Make sure you share, like, and comment on all of our social media. You can find us at Rec Tech Grills on any social media platform that you can think of. That's who we are. Uh, I'm your host, the uh, Academy instructor, Chef John, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys again. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's Friday, and we'll see y'all next Friday. Friday, Friday, you gotta get down Friday, Friday, Friday. How you doing, sir? Yeah, oh, good. yeah. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Just finishing up. I made up. it just in time. Yeah, you did.